Hi, I'm Nayeli. We're going to go over two different things that some people seem to be a little bit confused about. Um, disconnecting a domain from your existing Wix website and then connecting a domain from an external registrar. Uh, for example, maybe you purchased your domain outside of Wix and now you need to connect it. Um, we'll talk about the difference between transferring and connecting the domain so it can be linked up to your website and that way when people type in your name it'll take them to the site that you created on Wix. First, from inside of your Wix editor, you will see when you click on your site and then you click on manage, you'll be in the site manager on the left side, you'll have the overview, the domain, SEO, etc., etc. When you click on the domain, you'll be in this section and you'll be able to see any domains that are currently connected. If you haven't connected anything yet, we'll get to that in a moment. First, I'm going to show you how to disconnect. Why would you need to disconnect? Uh, maybe you're trying to transfer that domain to somebody else. It needs to be physically disconnected from your website and um, deleted from your account. So we're going to learn how to do those two things. So here, after I click on manage my domain, it'll take me to my domains that I have. Now I've already disconnected this one. As you can tell, it says domain connection not confirmed. Um, this is what it would look like you basically just click on the domain that you're going to be working on. In the very, very first tab where it says general, um, it'll say where it's connected to, to which site. Each site, you give it a name, you save it under that name. For example, this one I named it permits, and right now it's connected to this permit site, palmtruckpermits.com. If I click on disconnect, then this will come up. It'll show up like this. So now, now that I've disconnected the domain that I want to remove, instead of the general tab, disregard anything that it says right there, you're going to go to the advanced tab. From the advanced tab, you'll see transfer to Wix or remove domain from Wix. Transfer to Wix means that wherever I purchase this domain from, I physically want to remove it from that account, send it over to Wix, that way each year or every two years or three years, however long you decide, you'll be paying Wix to keep that domain for yourself. Just notice this was cut off. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna remove it from Wix. Why? Because I don't want it linked to my account anymore. Uh, let's pretend I'm gonna send it to somebody else uh, to a different Wix site or something. So I'll just remove it. So you'll get this pop-up here, removing this domain will delete it from your Wix domain list. You will still be able to access it from your domain provider, which means if you are the owner of the domain and you purchased it from GoDaddy, then you can go inside of GoDaddy and continue accessing it there. Uh, are you sure you want to remove this domain? Yes, remove it. So I'm going to remove it. After it's been successfully removed, you will no longer see it here in your list of domains. So now we covered how to disconnect a domain and how to delete it from your, from your Wix account. Now let's go back. Now let's connect a domain to our Wix. I'm going to use the same domain and coincidentally, <laughs> it is from GoDaddy. So from here, uh, when you log in, you will have different options. And um, when you click on your name, it'll say my products, click on my products, and it'll take you to the domains that you have. So under my domains, I just have one, which is this one. The name servers by default are set to the GoDaddy name servers. You can connect. Um, your domain in two ways. One, by changing the name servers, or two, by pointing. Um, I don't recommend pointing, although sometimes it might help better than other situations, but um, 
I prefer changing the domain servers, the name servers, because when you set your website to mobile view, it creates less bugs. <laughs> It'll look better. Test it. Try it out. Um, there's a lot of people out there that as soon as they disconnect the pointing and change the name servers, it fixes their mobile view of their website. So here are their name servers. Okay. So now um, it, it, your dashboard for GoDaddy should look like this. If it doesn't, uh, it might be a little bit different. All you have to do is go to the help and search the name servers uh, section to go ahead and manage. Okay, so I click on DNS management. And this is what it has. It has a lot of records that are standard and they're there because they're default. Um, you don't need to know what these mean, but you do have to scroll down and look for the part that says name servers one more time, so that way you can change them. Uh, the reason we want to change them is because we want them to be switched over to Wix, so that way we can connect it. So, logging in to Wix and GoDaddy at the same time, I want to, in the same domain uh, list, I want to add a domain. It'll give you options if you want to buy one or connect one that you already own or transfer. Connecting one is just that, what we talked about, either pointing or changing the name servers, which is what you want to do. You want to change the name servers or pointing, whatever you prefer. Or transfer, which means I want to physically take it out of GoDaddy. I no longer want to pay GoDaddy for that domain and I want to pay Wix. Um, you can transfer at any time as long as your registrar has unlocked your domain. Think of it like a cell phone. Uh, when you buy a cell phone from Sprint um, or Metro, I know Metro better, so when you buy a cell phone from Metro, it's already a, it's like a prepaid account, they sell you the cell phone, you buy it, you purchase it, pay it off, and then you can unlock the phone but after you wait a certain amount of time. In their case, their rule is you have to wait at least three months and then you can unlock the cell phone and then go to whatever provider you want. Then you can go to Sprint or T-Mobile or Verizon. Well, it's the same thing with these domains. In the domain, you can transfer the domain and you can pick a different registrar. So you can go from GoDaddy to Wix, but GoDaddy has rules. In some cases, maybe they you have to be with GoDaddy a minimum of 30 days or 60 days. I've seen some registrars have rules that you have to be with them for 90 days first and then you can transfer over. There's other registrars that require you to be with them a minimum for one whole year and then they allow you to transfer over. So make sure to read their information and ask them if you don't know or if you don't see it ask them, hey, if I want to transfer my domain away from your company, and I want to move it to Wix, how long do I have to wait? And then you'll know. So we don't want to click on this one right now. We want to connect a domain that I already own. I have it in my GoDaddy account. So now the very first step is you have to select a site. Where are you going to connect it? I'm going to choose the same one that it was connected on. Let me move this window just a little bit smaller. Click on the next button here. So, which domain do you want to connect? This is where you type in the name. So, I'm going to write down freetrackinghelp.com. I'm going to go back, double check that that's the one. It is freetrackinghelp.com. Where did I buy it? From GoDaddy. It'll give you the drop down list. Choose your registrar and select it from there. Connection method, DNS recommended. You can change this to pointing if you like, but DNS is recommended. <laughs> I'm going to click on next. Now, Wix is going to guide me step by step on what I'm supposed to click and type and change step by step 
inside of my GoDaddy account. So now it says here, sign into your GoDaddy account. I've already done that. I'm already signed in. Step two, click on the user profile. Click on my products. Ah, oh, see, I already did that. So click on your profile. You'll see your name and then click on my products. Then click uh, manage next to the domains. You may or may not see this, but find the link that says domains. As long as you get to your domains, you should be on the right track. GoDaddy changes their dashboard a lot. So if you don't see it exactly like this, don't freak out. <laughs> Just find the domains. Then click on manage DNS. So in this dashboard, their managed DNS is inside of that little settings, little drop down Duda there. So then um, when they click on that icon, they see manage DNS. Well, on mine, um, it was actually just at the very top. It was said my domains and then manage DNS. And I clicked on that. It's gone now. But here I am in DN DNS management. Then under name server, click change. So now I need to find the section that says name servers. There it is at the bottom. Now I'm going to click change. Back to X. Next up. Now we're going to select custom from the drop down menu and enter the Wix name servers. Which ones are the Wix name servers? They're up here. One and two. So I'm going to copy. In GoDaddy, instead of default, because it's the GoDaddy default name servers, I'm going to change it to custom. And then I'm going to type in the first one and the second one. So the first one, paste, go back to Wix, get the second one, and paste. You can click on add name server if you need to add some more. In this case, Wix only has two, so just these two boxes is all you need to fill out. And then you're going to click save. Now, at the top, sometimes you may see this, sometimes you may not. Um, GoDaddy will announce that it may require a confirmation. So make sure to check your inbox in your email account that is linked to your whatever account you have, whether it be GoDaddy or any other registrar. Uh, but in this case, in GoDaddy, it will have a pop-up saying, hey, we might send you an email, so look out for that to confirm the changes that you've made. Let me click next over here instead of Wix to see what's next. So now it's loading on the last step, which is the confirmation. It says congratulations. Freetrackinghelp.com is about to be connected to your site. Now, if you don't already have an email uh, account uh, with Gmail or anything like that, any type of email provider, you can connect it inside of Wix. You can get that and you'll save 50% off through G Suite. G Suite is good. I recommend it. That's what I use. <laughs> okay, so there, it's connected. Now, let's go back to the domains. And here we see freetruckinghelp.com. It redirects to the main one, palmtruckpermits.com. And yes, I have two domains connected to one website. You can do that with Wix. It's amazing. I'm going to click on this. Now we're back to the general. It, and here it'll tell you what it's connected to. It's connected to palmtruckpermits.com. And it gives me the option is selected as the primary domain. In other words, this if they type in this one or this one, this is the one that they will end up seeing at the very end or vice versa. So you pick which is your primary one, but both are connected to the same site. Once they land there, this is what, what you choose primary, which one is the one that's going to be visible to the visitor. In the advanced, My name servers are confirmed that it is set to Wix. A little extra tip. 
if you happen to get an email account with anybody using this domain, any domain, where to look up those uh, settings is right here next to mailbox. In the mailbox, you can either buy a mailbox or you can configure your MX records. So that's all you do. You click on configure, you select your email provider if you already have an account with somebody else. Click on it, select it, and then just click OK. It will literally change all the MX records for you and it's done, it's set, you're ready to go. It's that easy. Now you can continue getting mail under this domain or you can start getting mail under this domain after you connect it through there. So you're done here, nothing else to do, it's already connected. It may or may not take between 1 to 48 hours to configure, but let's go ahead and test it out. Let's do, let me move this down just a little so you can see what I'm typing. freetrackinghelp.com and let's see what it does. Ah, there we go. Now I change it to palmtruckpermits.com. And it's still loading. <laughs> but it's connected. So now you know how to disconnect a domain from Wix, disconnect it from a Wix site, remove it from your account. Now you know how to add a domain to your account and connect it by changing the name servers. And as a bonus, you even learn how to connect it to your email. If you have any questions or if you have any other requests, let me know so I can make another video. Bye.